In September 2017, 60 youth from all over Northland, our mentors and workshop facilitators descended on Dargaville. Coordinated by Creative Northland, our challenge was to create art forms of our choice over two days. We chose workshops in music, mural, 3D projection mapping, theatre and documentary filmmaking. Kia ora, welcome to Youth Summit 2017. Let's go check it out. In the filmmaker workshop, we are gathering photos to create a documentary for Youth Summit 2017. The paint workshop created murals on boards taught by artists David and Faith. Workshop mentor Lenny, himself an artist too, created a board to show us techniques. So for myself personally, um, if you're doing anything creative, it's a good outlet to put a lot of that negative or positive energy into it. I am doodling because I have no idea what I want to do. So why not? <laughs> this isn't about looking at issues necessarily, it's looking about the stuff that's good and the stuff that works. We're doing 3D projection mapping, which is like when you have a 3D surface like a wall or just something like that and um, you're putting um, projecting images through a projector onto those to make it look almost like it's 3D. They're designing fonts um, that describe their word that they chose for their um, pepeha. <laughs> Uh, we are uh, creating a composition for a performance coming up tomorrow or whenever it is. Once upon a time, so my best friend woke me at the wrong red box and tried to stand me and get parties every night. Too scared to go home, too scared that he'll get a bruise. Rolling up that joint, too scared to go off. helps you make decisions upon the emotions you're feeling or the stresses that you're under. I guess it's kind of like a release because you listen to a song and you can relate with it and you kind of go into that world for a while. You don't have to really concentrate on what's actually happening and so it's good to give people that sort of outlet. kind of surprised at how fast we progressed. Here, and that will represent the four aspects of life, which is the physical, spiritual, emotional and the mental. So painting's all about layers as well, eh guys? It's all about, you start off with the, it's a little bit like evolution, you know? We, you start off with water and paint, so we came from water, and then you're making it thicker, and that's where we are today, like a real physical, reality, if you want to talk about that. I have stopped messing around and I have gotten to the actual painting. It's just like this total immersion, you know, where that you, that's the only thing you're focusing on. When you're in that state, uh, personally I feel you can lose track of time, so you got to ensure that you do like eat and fulfill like basically basic bodily function, so you don't like die because that's good for your health. It's tans. Go. <laughs> and right now we're climbing over each other, so like they got they got us all be in groups and we had to try and get across the room without touching the ground. One person couldn't touch the ground, so we had to like kind of climb on each other. It was quite uncomfortable, hurt a lot. The skipping activity is based around um, 
focus on stage. So when you're on stage, you always have to be focused on your next move and what you're going to be doing next. Part of that work is working in pairs and small groups, and also part of it is working in big groups, like you saw with the skipping. So that's getting them to work together as one group. I think theatre is pretty important because it um, allows us to um, present the ideas and the problems that um, we can't express in a lot of other way. We, we're not able to express. Um, I think it's a great medium to be able to um, convey those, those problems and, and be able to show people um, our personal struggles and just, just the thoughts that we want to get across to other people. Sometimes it's really good to, um, to, to, um, to create a situation or to create a scene and then put it up on, on stage and for us to look at it and go, oh, that's what happens in my home, and then stop, take a pause and go, so what's another way of looking at, at that situation? And so what it does is it gives us an opportunity to, um, to see what our lives look like, because most of the time we just, all we can do is um, be in our lives. We can't necessarily look at our lives. Like if you watch television and stuff like that, you see Shoreland Street or, you know, whatever it is, you know, no disrespect to Shoreland Street people, but that's not real life. When day one was over, we headed to All Two Day Marae by bus. <laughs> the whole kaiing at All Two Day Marae gave us a warm welcome, and after a kai, the fun began. Hi, my name's Drake Mari, and this is Gully. Um, what? <laughs> So how are you enjoying yourself so far? I, I'm like, it's really good, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's solid. Keep going. <laughs> what have you learned so far? Today? Yes. Today? I learned um, how to create a new song, like a song. Um, I learned how to be kind. <laughs> no, I learned how to enjoy creative music with other people and I don't like the camera. <laughs> uh, everyone, welcome to Marae. Coming up, we're gonna go uh, look at some people. Yeah, good. Okay, there we go. Hi, hi. Uh, we are doing a new uh, report on the toilet. How Oh, yes. Pretty good. We found chocolate. Right. <laughs> okay. How's your time? How are you enjoying the time? Sub J? Yeah! <laughs> Solid. <laughs> and this is the end of the news report. Bye. What the fuck? Keep going. Say something. Go. 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 While some did dishes and some had fun, the 3D projection tutors, Hans and his team, ran tests with the images. The doco crew kept one step ahead of the action, editing footage from the day's events. When day two began, it was time to get serious. I am just adding the finishing touches to the ground and then I'll just be smoothing out some edges and adding a few details and then yeah, I'll be done.
a minute's app, then try and do it collectively. Are you dead? Yes. Before we knew it, it was time to show everyone what we've accomplished. First up was a 3D projection mapping, where they'd matched images to represent themselves onto shapes they'd designed and built for the projection. Then it was the mural workshop's turn, so we all went over to the Kaipara Community Centre for the showing by the mural artists. Um, we feel really blessed because we work with such an awesome group. We did all this amazing marketing for such a short amount of time. Um, yeah, so obviously my name. Um, I drew Tiger and I represent me and my culture, where I'm from. So on this side, I, I represent the Chinese flag, because I'm of my culture, I'm part Chinese. And on this side is the New Zealand flag, where I am from. I'm part Maori, and part here. <coughs> I didn't just do that because my name, it also means, because uh, tiger is a very powerful creature, and it's the biggest cat on earth, and it's, the, it's one of the most strongest and very beautiful animals on earth. <laughs> And I love, I love tigers very much. <laughs> Mine's just about people connecting and being able to really help each other to get through tough times and stuff. Yeah. Um, mine is about um, something that's close to me. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, people with cancer, or dealing with people with cancer, or dealing with, with cancer itself. Um, usually a bit of a morbid kind of topic, you know. So there's like dark areas around here. <laughs> but I wanted it to be like a symbol of hope, or even if you have it, you can still be a bright person. So there's a bigger in the middle and bright colours going out and um, I wanted to keep close to my culture so I tried to put in some <coughs> island symbols. I hope they cook island symbols, I got it off the internet <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah that's, that's, my, that's my representation. Or my Kia ora, my name's Jack. Um, I did mine um, on the, some of the Māori gods. So up here I had a really nice sunset with um, Ranginui, the Sky Father. And then in around here is mostly the weather. So that's Tafri Mātia. Down here is like, that's a little bit of Manaya on the other side. And then below is like just the ground. So that's Papa Tuanuku, the ground earth mother. And then over here is Manaya again. And then underneath Manaya is Tangaroa. And then in the middle is this big, Beautiful palm tree with Tani Mahuta. Um, so I approached it with a very universal approach here. Um, Jack, me and Jack were working close by, looking down over there, and he was, he, was, uh, he had a few atua and you know, a few of the gods on there, and I was. <coughs> Sort of captivated me a bit, so I thought I'll incorporate that in, in my piece. So it's a rotating piece as well. 
So it represents the four aspects of life. And we've got spiritual, the uh, emotional, the physical, and the mental well-being. If you get a good balance of all that, it should be pretty all good. And this in here represents our diverse community. Now we we, we have uh, a people that have uh, multicultural, so there's many different ethnicities and races here. And these here represent our atua. And I've also incorporated bunny and papa as well. And it also represents the flower of life. And um, the universe is actually based off this shape, which is called the torus. And yeah, that's my piece. So I was feeding off the youth here, and I thought I'll make a piece as well. So, yeah. Back over at the Anzac Theatre was the original performances from the theatre workshop with intro by acting tutors Chris and Jess. Now, Kia ora te whanau, uh, thank you uh, to Creative Nicholas firstly for allowing us to be here for our Manatani's Campus experience over the last three days. It's been fun, really fun. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's an awesome opportunity as well for us to, usually it's just one thing or another, but it's been an awesome opportunity for us to be a part of something a little bit bigger. So it's not just theatre, it's 3D, it's music, it's, um, it, it's mural, it's, it's a whole lot, it's a collective. Um, Chikanga. yeah, and we've been blessed with, um, with, with the, the resources of the local community, Mihiatikia Kūrua, a whaiama, no te marae or two day. Um, yeah, we've been really lucky. So, uh, so our provocation was, um, uh, what was it? <laughs> our voices, their voices, their stories, their voices. So it's about our youth, their stories and their voices. And that's what we've been working with over the last few years. Hearing lots of stories, um, finding ways that we use theatre to create, um, to tell those stories in a different way. Recognising where the stories sit and, um, and looking for the light in it as well. So uh, I hope you enjoy what we've got. Shoulder. Shoulder. <laughs> Kia Papa. Things are going right. I mean, I'm going through school, it's, it's going to well, pretty well actually. Dwayne's doing heaps of stuff with his trombone, the trombone. I'm doing heaps of stuff with my trombone. Yeah, it's really good, we're really sitting in our music career. Remember when you chucked the cat out the window in the gorge? It was driving like 80. It was still funny to me today. Uh, and I remember uh, Ivan didn't need kindness back then. He's sure changed his attitude since then, eh? Yeah, I remember Papa Way. I remember I uh, actually wanted to keep him, I wanted to bring him back down the open. I love that cat. I, I still got any porridge. 
You really wanted me to play rugby. <laughs> that didn't work out, obviously. It's all good, though. Strengths in other places, eh? <laughs> You'd be, You'd be proud. proud of me. And then she got the first bite. So she started to reel it in and reel it in. And she flew into the water. No. Yes. No. Yes. And then Dad had to jump in and pull her back no. into the boat. And then, and then he had to climb in and they looked down. What did they see? They looked down into the water and they saw a shark. I'm joking. This is all a lie. <laughs> I remember the first time a book really captivated me. What book was that? Lockham and Co. I mean, it was a bit scary, I have to admit. But it was just so magical. A bit like the dog Lola, huh? Oh, yeah, Lola. She's so cute. You remember how she's got up to my knee? Mm -hmm. And she's a watercolor cross with fractures. She's got the watercolor coloring because she's black and white. And she's so silly. She used to rip the towels off the washing line and then run laps in the yard, round and round and round. And now all of our towels have holes in the wall. And holes in the wall. <laughs> Oh, man, I just love looking at uh, Tangroi. Oh. Just 
The blue water's just remind me of some nice fish and chips, eh? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh bro, that was so long, bro. Where did I go to the arcade that day? Yeah, we are. We stay over here. Oh, see? Where did I go down to the shop and buy those dollar cans of fizzy and those dollar bags of lollies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did go play Street Fighter, but I was right here. Yeah, I was Goku. Hey. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, where were we? Um, fuck, that day, uh, where did I go to? Down to the park that day, do you yeah, remember? No, it was this way, then. Oh, sorry, bro. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we were going to the park and yeah. we saw that pretty flash girl, eh? Yeah, like who? No, her. Oh, him. <laughs> <laughs> It was the music workshop's turn, with three performances that all composed. Hello, my name is Nico.
you could use one word to describe the youth <laughs> summit, what would it be? Interesting. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Amazing. Educational. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> Epic. Wait, yeah? Um, fun. Worth it. That's not one word, eh? To Mickey. Awesome. Motivating. Transformative. <laughs> Spectacular. Beyond. Awesome. Interesting. Solid. <laughs> Inspirational. Inspiration. Creativity. Hard work. Talent. Inspirational. Fun. Splendiferous. Good. It's fun. And last but not least, you've been watching the work of the awesome Docker crew, tutored by Raywin and Adam. Thank you. See you in 2018.